Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? This is Robert with Burns Travels, uh, another Jeep accessory upgrade. What we're going to be doing today is replacing this bumper right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that started. All right, so one of the two things we have to do is we have to get rid of this guard underneath of the Jeep, the stock uh, bumper. And if you see right up here, these pieces are here. We're just going to pop those out all the way down this and this thing should drop. Then we're going to actually go up here to the top and I'll show you what we're going to move next after we do this. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove those two pieces right there. It takes a Phillips head and make sure you have one that fits it correctly because if it's too small or too big you might strip it out and be a real pain to get them. So let's go ahead and do those two things that I just showed you. See, I just stripped it out. Just stripped it out. I thought I had the right head. Apparently not. So this is going to be fun. Okay, as you can see right here, this piece actually came out right here. And I don't have a tool that goes underneath them to pop them. But I'm going to be getting rid of this anyways. So what I'm going to do is going to remove them with vice grips. And how I'm doing that is I'm just pulling them out just like that. Go down to the next one. Pull it out just like that. So that's what I'm going to do on the rest of them. Alright. Here's another one. That I'm going to... As you can see, vice grips. Pull it. Okay, when you saw this earlier, this is the skid plate that's underneath the Jeep. And I actually popped them out, if you can see, these spots right here. It was easy. They just You just pulled them out and they were fine. But also on the inside, these were connected to the frame of the Jeep. So you had a total of six of them you had to remove. So that was a skid plate. Okay, I'm underneath the front of the Jeep and I got that bottom skid plate off. But if you look here at this light, these are your spots, your fog lights that are up front, which this whole assembly will be coming off and you'll be attaching it to the bumper. But before I do that, I want to disconnect that. And what you'll do is you'll actually squeeze this little piece right here. You squeeze it and pull it right out. And the reason I'm doing that is when I disconnect the bumper from the bracket that you see right back here, the four brackets on each side, okay? Once I get uh, those bolts off, the bumper is going to slide right off. So I want to have them all disconnected before I actually do it. And there's the other one. So, because I don't want to tear this wiring up right here that you're seeing. So let's move on. Okay, what I want to show you this is the right front side of the bumper. There's those two bolts. And then if you come right here to the other side, you see those two bolts? You got four on each side, so I got four on this side, and you got the same process to do on the driver's side to remove this bumper. So I'm going to get those out of the way. I really can't hold the camera and do this, so uh, I'm just going to get them done, and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, these were behind every two sets of bolts that were behind the bumper. This actually made it stronger when it was on there. So don't get rid of these. You might actually need them. Uh, so let's just go on taking the bumper now since all the bolts are off and the lights are disconnected. Okay, I'm sure this is going to be pretty easy once you get it. See how easy that is once all the bolts are loose? So I'm going to put this camera down so I can disconnect wires if there's any there and just double check them. I can't really do it. Which is okay, fine. since you saw earlier when I stripped these out right here, what I did was I just came here, put a screwdriver and I popped them out is all I did. That's all I did was pop them out. Okay, step three says to drill out a hole on this bumper bracket. On the passenger side, it's going to be this one. And on the driver's side, it's going to be this one. Because that's step three, and the instruction says to do those two. So, drill that to half inch. Drill that to half inch. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now 
pretty much they were already probably there but uh, just slightly less than half inch it's probably for their bolts so let's continue now one of the things you're going to do is you're going to use your uh, fog lights you're going to take out the four bolts four screws not bolts out of each light you can see i've already taken the one out of there and i've already taken them out here and then what you're going to do with these lights you're going to what comes in the kit is these little square tabs you put them in each one around it and then you just use the same screws and your lights and you put them in there you're just reusing what you already have now if you've upgraded to fog uh, to leds or something you'll be putting those in that place me i'm not doing that these are really bright so i'll probably keep these anyways that's what you do next well as you can see here i'm going to attempt to lift this big boy and put it in there by myself if for some reason i can't do it that's fine because it's pretty heavy but my wife will be coming home soon and she will help me so let's see if we can do it well i got it up there you would have thought i was working out of the gym this is a heavy heavy bumper and as and as you can see i've already put the washer lock washer and the bolt on those two and this top one so it's pretty simple you just put the flat bolt the lock washer and then the nut and then we'll go ahead and tie them down so that's what i'm gonna do next all right these two bolts right here actually are welded to the frame then on the other side of this frame right here there's two more holes that you have to put the nuts through and tighten them down uh, and you're going to do this while leaving this loose the the actual front bumper loose and i did that and the problem i have is only one hole lined up so what i'll probably do is take it to a shop and see if we can uh me and a buddy of mine can actually uh correct the problem if not maybe we'll put a, a little tack weld right there on that side each side just to make sure uh there is no issues and then you see right down here these are bolts that come up through the bottom where the the bumper bolts to the frame here on each side there's one there and if you look to the other side here's the two bolts here there's some here and then right underneath here is where you bolt it to the frame so let's see what it looks like okay here is the smitty belt src generation 2 front bumper completed now i haven't got a winch in it yet that will be the next thing i'll do when i do the front but before I even get the winch, I'm going to order the S-Pod that can have all my electronics go to it. So, when I get the S-Pod, that will be my next install, you'll probably see. Well, as you can see, it's installed. Now, here's some advice, and I really recommend this. If you're going to do this, when you go to put the bumper actually on, have a second person to help you. Because the bumper weighs about 150 pounds uh approximately and one person can do it but uh it's no reason to hurt your back because of it so just make sure someone else is there to help you lift it it will be a whole lot easier and then get it lined up and then the bolts once you get the bolts to the hole it pretty much just sits there uh but lifting it up get some help anyways i hope this information was good i uh, hope you liked what you saw so subscribe a thumbs up and till next time